Hello everybody and welcome back to Firewatch. My name is Twist and there's a bird. No, that's, that's a butterfly. Close. My no cigar. Can I catch it? Oh, where are you going? Butterfly. That's a huge butterfly actually. Right? It's freaking massive. Why is it here? Why is the butterfly over here? I don't know. I know. Should I go over there? I should go... That's actually... I'm gonna go over here. I think this may be the correct path for us. Is that a snake? That, or that's just a uh, trees. Not trees, but a uh, bush with stuff. And this seems like it's kind of walled off. Oh, why is this walled off? Why is this a possible path? Is something gonna burn down? Oh, we can actually go just through here. We are careful enough, right? Can we? I don't think we actually can. Is this like just overgrown for now or will it actually burn down at some point? Because that way it would free up a path, which is... This obviously was supposed to be a path. And I cannot actually go through here at all. I guess either someone chops it in between or uh, it burns down or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, there's no way. There's no reason to like uh, assume things without actually knowing all the details. I don't like doing that usually. Okay, we can go up here. We cannot. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, I saw something. Or just a medicine wheel again. Alright, so we are going to continue over here. Do we have any new on our map regarding the medicine wheel? I don't think we do. Uh, we do not. It's just same, same old, same old. All right. Do we have something marked on a map on this path? We do not. It's not even actually marked as a path on our on our map. All right. Ruby River, two forks. I was trying to go to where? To Ruby River? And five miles Creek. Okay. Let's go back to the normal path. Let's Did actually. Did your wife's illness have anything to do with you taking this job, or? <laughs> you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push. When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is, like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't going to burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again. Interesting. I did not know that. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. I named this Triple Gulch when I was playing through. It's it's just like a little detail. You get a, like an option that I didn't see last time to like, name the thing. Ah, uh, don't fall down again. It would be kind of funny if I fell down again. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not gonna happen because this rope is awesome. <laughs> All right, made it. Cannot, I cannot brag. That's unfortunate. Getting close to this, which is great. So we are on a familiar path now, right? Yeah, we should. Oh wait, what's that? Another rope in the distance. Where? What's down here? Oh, that's a rope. It's not really in the distance. Um. Last time I went down here to the Jones Lake area, right? Yeah, that's good to know. But now I, I think I have to actually go down over here. I could be totally and utterly wrong though, but I think this is the correct path. Because if you go to the lake, we cannot actually go all around. 
And actually I could go to the lake to check out if they still have their things there, which I'm guessing that they don't. I don't know, man. Alright. It's saving, that's a good sign. Where's the smoke? I don't see the smoke anymore. Should be back here. There's a cache. Where is this cache at? Where my cache at? Cache 309. Interesting. Alright. That's a nice one. The sun is setting, it seems. Alright. Uh, time sure does fly when you're in the wilderness. Wow, that's the wrong code. Two, one, two, three, four. Awesome. What happens if you mess it up? I guess it's just nothing. Alright, missing person. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Hmm. PTSD? That doesn't sound Was he sound the Korean good. War vet? I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Interesting. That's face over there. Hmm. Mitch Michaels. What happens if you call this number? I wonder. So this is a small map over here. I think it's the smallest one we've seen so far. Because it's just like this tiny tiny area. Is there like a path over the river? That doesn't make much sense. Maybe it's actually shallow. I actually copied it wrong, man. Copied it wrong. No, it's, it's wrong. Look. It's not supposed to go over the river. It's supposed to like be... Oh, man. I mean, actually, I guess it is kind of supposed to be like that. Yeah, it's actually it's actually fine. Actually, all right, it seems. Uh, let's put them down. What else is in here? We have pine cones. Awesome. Let's get, get these things back. A lot of pine cones. A lot of like... Uh, firewood for some reason, I don't know why. Interesting. I still don't see the smoke, it was to the west. Lush woods. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. He's lying. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that really? can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn that all of these amazing things? incredible, actually. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Alright. Good to know. That looks like a person from the distance. Okay, is that? So, if you wanna, like... There's a stream. It's over here. That sounds like a boat creaking in the distance. It really sounds. Oh, what's this? Turtle. Whoa! I uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a. Uh, it's a tortoise. Tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Turtles live in, well, in the water. Something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, I do. Nobody will mind. Yes. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a. Uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt Reynolds. That's awesome. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Hello, cutie. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my god, look at him. He's so happy. Oh man, I love him. I want to I adopt him. Yeah, he's mine. That's so cute. Oh, I love it.
Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. site and it looks like they've got a fire is it them that no, seems like it i swear they must have dragged four cases of beer out here track them down and don't let them see you what a job this is i found my sheets so they did break into your tower looks like i have entered the teen zone oh really and where's that? They're back. It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. <laughs> uh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean? Well, I found some dangerous hunks. <laughs> What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. <gasps> I love it. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Why can't I keep stopping? Why can't I keep stopping this out? Is that out yet? It should be out. Strange. Curious. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. I agree. Does the note say? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy we're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed the cat. What? And all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gr. Oh my god. You're probably a mental fucking uh, axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a judge of some fireworks dick. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No. Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. 
No, I wanted to examine the things. No, no, no. Delilah, you messed me up. I wanted to check the... Oh, shit snacks. I didn't want that to happen. Man, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Crap, crap, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna actually end it here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. That was a good deal. More than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's been Twisted from Honey Games, and I will see you next time.